Thanks again for continuing along with this video series. We are exploring how to uh, rotate Istio's CA signing certificates with minimal downtime. Uh, in previous videos, we saw that changing the route will cause downtime, especially going from a, the Istio's self-signed and generated route CA to maybe one that you want to use. But then we also saw that if you rotate the intermediate certificates and those intermediates have the same route that you won't see downtime. And now in this video, video three, we're going to see how to introduce the, you know, if you need to rotate your root CA, which isn't something that happens very often, but will happen and you need to be able to handle it without downtime. What we want to do for that is make sure that for a period of time that we're able to trust the old root as well as the new root so that we don't have a breakage in traffic. In, in the previous videos, we, took, we saw the breakdown in the structure, here we can do it again, of our certificates. So far, we showed that for certificates or intermediate signed by root A, so we introduced root A and root A2, that this didn't, we didn't see any breakage in, in the traffic communication, but now we want to rotate our CA certificate to something that's been signed by root B, which change, which will break the, the, the connections if we don't handle it appropriately. So let's take a look at multiple routes. Oops, So we see that our root CA is signed by root A in our examples. Okay. Now we want to introduce root B or, or intermediates that have been signed by root B. So we want to do that by introducing a root CA that includes both uh, A and B. So we're going to do that first by deleting the existing CA certs, of course, save them before you actually do that. And we're going to create CA certs with a root cert that includes both A and B root certificates. Okay, so we're going to create the CA certs with, we're not going to change the intermediate yet. We're not going to, we're not going to change anything. All we're doing is introducing or we're changing the root CS so that we trust both A and B roots. All right, so intermediate chain is still uh, assigned by root A, but we're introducing the the roots that that are that trust both A and B. Now let's restart STOD to pick this up. We should see. Should be up and running. Looks good. Back to our workloads. Okay. Now what this has done has changed the. Let's take a look at the root CA config map. Oh, still haven't picked it up. This it might still be coming up. Let's do this. Let's run it. Still don't see it. Now we see it. All right. So Istio has placed these trusted CAs, root certificates, in the config maps in all of the namespaces. We see both A and B are listed here. Both A and B are trusted. Okay. Now, if we look at the pod itself, and we take a look at the root, oh, that still hasn't been updated in the pod. So this might take a second. Eventually, I guess it doesn't cooperate for demos, but eventually it should also propagate into the pod. Oh, which we should 
Okay, now it has. Right? So in the sleep pod, we now see root A and root B. Very good. Let's restart the HTTP bin service so that it picks up these new, you know, new CAs. And what we saw in the in the previous demos is that when we change the root, and they weren't the same routes between sleep pod and HTTP bin pod, that things would break. But we shouldn't see that here. All we've done is introduce root B. We haven't changed the CAs, or, or the the um, we haven't changed the intermediate yet. If you make this call, it should work, and it does. Now, in the next video, we're going to introduce the CA that's been signed by B. And the pods now should trust both A and B. So even though we're rotating the root, we shouldn't see any breakage in the communication. Stay tuned to the next video.